Welcome to Local Rock Talk. I'm host Paul Greeley, aka Pausa. This is fifth welcome back during pandemic. Please welcome Dennis Danielle, the DJ. What's going on, everybody? DJ Double Vision right here. It's been a while since I've been over here, but uh, thank you, Polly, for grabbing me for this interview and uh, everything else, man. I heard you got some questions, and you could tell I'm the Celtics fan, you know, right? Yep. <laughs> I got to escape somewhere, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, just wish they would have won, but it's all good. We'll get them next year. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm just here loving the local rock show, and uh, let's get it started, man. Whatever you want to ask me, and let's get it going. <laughs> okay. Now, let's get to the questions. Number one, how long you been doing DJ? I've been doing DJ for, uh, I want to say, maybe almost seven, seven to eight years almost down the line, man. Like Wow. So it's been a while, like, you know, on and off helping other people and um, just doing a lot of shows and, and a lot of local city around the Havel area, um, carried on to New Hampshire, Maine, and just done for so many years, just been doing a lot of different places. But yeah, sometimes I don't even put a timeline on it. I feel like I've been doing it forever, man. And yeah. not one show, it gets boring. It, it's like the first time every time, man. Yeah. All right. All right. Number two question. What you use to jam out DJ music? What I use to, to jam out to DJ music? Um, yep. Like I said, well, like I said, I will ask for a list from my clients or from my fans or for whatever, like what's the best music or whatever they want for their event. What do you want? You can make a playlist for me and I'll go by their playlist. Or they just say, Hey, I suggest that um, you should play this song instead, or I will add some songs to help them out. Because sometimes they just want to have the party start, and they're like, well, you're the DJ. You know what to do and all that. I'm like, yeah, that's true, but you yeah. know, your list helps me out as well. I've noticed that whatever they give me that I missed or that I didn't know or see, whatever the case. Because people have different likes, you know, but. Oh, yeah. Um, like, you know. if you could do DJ for my show, you do the rock type. Let's do rock, man, because as a DJ, I like all types of music. I like 50s, 60s, Elvis, hip-hop, pop music, country, rock. <laughs> <laughs> I love all types of music, man. So I learned to, to, to be immune to all the music types, man, all yeah. genres put together, man. I love them all. That's right. S still support the music. That's what I do, and I like to support other people as well, not just, you know, myself. Yeah. And whatever but you know I like to go on other shows and help other people out as well because I feel like you know it's about that time you know what I mean yep okay now this is about me and you now how me and you know each other Polly man we go way back not only from the TV days but I used to see you riding bike I used to see you walking around I think I've I seen you in middle school at some times and from Contatino. Like, I've seen you from, from all over these places. Like, yeah. you've been in Haverhill for a long time. Me oh, and yeah. you are like dinosaurs. Yeah. That's how long we've been in Haverhill. <laughs> yeah. We've been walking these hills out here for a minute, y'all. So if anybody doesn't know me and him, like, like he did, he's been doing his own thing. I've been doing my thing. But it's like we never left, though. It's like we've been side to side because he's been in Haverhill for as long as I have. We've been here since almost... I'm almost been here in Haver for like second, third grade. Like that's how long I've been in Haver. And I, I, yeah, yeah, I left and came back. But you know what I'm saying? I'm still yeah. here. I'm still supporting this place. I'm still, you know, it's always been Haver with me. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. you know, anything around Haver or Haver, we've been here. Me and him are like dinosaurs, like I said. Like oh, yeah. car seats, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you, you know what? Like Jelly and Lenny and them, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's how you probably noticed me because yep. of them, too. Yeah, like other people, again, bring us together, 
we always met other people and like, oh, you know Paul? I'm like, yeah, I know Polly, man. He's been, of course I know Polly. We wouldn't know Polly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's been out here for years. You know what I'm saying? So before this TV and radio music entertainment thing, me and him been out here since dinosaurs, man, walking around, just, just owning different parts of Avo, man. <laughs> me and him are just, we take up so much space out here, it's crazy. But yeah. Yeah. That's how we've known each other for, for a long time. I've been knowing him since... I think he didn't know me, and I think he knew me before I didn't know him. I don't know, it's crazy, but we've <laughs> seen each other and heard and saw each other way before one. Yeah. All right. So, nine years now. <laughs> right, right. So, just letting the fans know out there, low. This ain't the first time an interview. Like, I've been knowing, dude. I've been knowing Polly and his... Look at this. Look, like, take a look at this. Local yeah. rock talk. Like, he got his own show now. He... Creating bikes and guitars like this, like the dude is for real, man. He's been out here creating his own style and creating his own vibe and waves, you know? Yeah. And that's what that's what the journey's about. That's, you know, yep. our plan is to homer the, the, the thing, you know? We're trying to homer everything we do, whether it's for Haver or whether it's for us. We're trying to make sure everything we do is a home run, you know what I mean? That's right. Okay, number four. What events you DJ for? What events? Yeah. I've done a lot of weddings. I've done a lot of um, downtown events. I've done one with a drummer where I had the drummer. I don't know if it was Jason. I don't know if you know him, Jay, but he was a drummer, and um, I would DJ for him, and he would play off the, the beats off of the drum, and that was all downtown Haverhill. And then there was one time where, you know, I DJed for a rock event where people, you know, when they took a break or whatever, I would be the DJ for that event and just play a bunch of rock music while everyone was taking a break and still have the place rocking because it's all about rock right now, you know what yeah. I mean? So I did those type of shows as well, and those were great because those were different experiences, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I wish more rock people and more rock events would come up around the city, you know what I'm saying? We do now, but I mean, oh, I, yeah. I like private, I like um, club events or bar events where that happens a lot, and that, that doesn't happen a lot, and I would love to DJ more like that or be a part of that, you know? So oh, yeah. we need to get that out there more, you know what I'm saying? We need rock yep. We need rock to come back for a little bit because I got love for rock too, you know what I'm saying? It's oh, like, yeah. I got love for all genres though, but rock, we need to we need to get back into that. That was great times. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, what type of music you play? What type of music do I play? Yeah. I mean, I can play all types of music. I mean, I don't have yeah. a favorite because I learned as a DJ that I like all music. I like all genres. Yeah. I listen to the lyrics. You know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. like, doom, doom, doom. I'm listening to all types. One day I feel like I want to listen to, you know, Tears for Fears or I'll listen to, um, you know, um, just hard rock Sabbath, you know what I'm saying? I listen, oh, to, yeah. I listen to something crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like something to just motivate me, you know what I'm saying? And something to just, you know, just all types of music that I listen to. But like I said, rock, sometimes rock motivates me to, to, to get the facts out. And, oh, and yeah. sometimes it's just the energy and the beat and, and, you know, I'm on the highway, you know. I like to make sure I'm on the right side so I'm going a certain speed, but... It just makes me get to my destination at certain times and certain music. So I listen to all types. Like I said, I don't pick a favorite one. I think I just have one where I just listen to that motivates me and gets me to where I need to get to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a little different. I'm in the car, man. I'm, I'm in my truck, actually. I got a truck. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. You know, he rode in my truck, lifted first, and everything. First but, time, so. <laughs> yeah. So he knows what it is, being up there that high. And oh, yeah. Sometimes you just... Sorry. Mountain high, man. You're just yeah. looking at the. You feel like you're in the mountains. You, you just want to feel like you're up top. So that's what it is. Just over the top music sometimes. Is that's your answer to your question? Yep. <laughs> All right. Number six. I know you are acting. What movies and TV shows you been in? Ooh. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm getting a little hot. So if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna just slowly take this off. Yo, I've been in a lot of great shows and um, TV shows, films. I've been in Hubie uh, Halloween with Adam Sandler. 
Oh, I've seen that um, one. Yeah. Yep. I'm way in the background, but yeah. I've been in Castle Rock. So with um, Tim Robbins. There's just a bunch of people I've been in. And um, Coda. Coda was a good, you know, it's for the deaf people. So it was definitely all around great. It won an Oscar award. I'd never been in a movie with an Oscar award, so that was good. Cool. So, and um, for TV, I'm working on that right now. I'm working on a lot of TV shows that um, that are coming out that uh, haven't really been out there, but I, it's been out there. Like I said, it's just a lot of shows that they go on for a minute and then come off, but there's been a lot of good ones out there that I've been in that happen real fast and then come off and then go back on. So it depends on the crowd and how it is, but... You know, there's another movie I enter called Challengers with Zendaya, and I just keep doing things. And I'm after this, I'm going to New York. So after this show, <laughs> I'm going to get dressed, and they're going to head off to New York and do some casting over there and um, sign up for some agencies and see if the D-man right here can, can uh, you know, take this a little further than what it is. You know, I love the local love and the local community, and society is treating me great, but I feel like I need to give back to society. And push myself and push my body and, and um, go a little further, man. Go a yeah. little further, you know, and yep. maybe you could look at the TV and be like, that kid right there. Yeah. I was just sitting next to that kid with that kid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you yeah. Know. All right. That was a good talking. You know what, man? You have some good questions, and those are questions that I'm really thankful to be asked because they, they, they're much needed yeah. out here for Havel and Havel – you know, we've been out here for a long time, Polly, and, um, yeah. you know, there's a lot of people that we see people go to the top but don't really come back. Yep. You know, no disrespect to them, but, I mean, we need people who come back and try to help the community, try to set certain things up, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You know, much respect to them that they put Haverhill and all that, but we need actually people to come back and try to put in some of that work, you know what I'm saying, and try to yep. help out a little bit. It's not easy. Again, it's it's... You know, I know I have a mountain ahead of me, but like I said, if I listen to overtop music and have people like Polly supporting me and putting me on this show, that elevates you and helps you to to a start of a new beginning. That that makes me want to go even harder, you know? Yep. All right. Um what beer do you like the best? Which one? Yeah. What beer? No, band. I thought he said beer. I'm like, <laughs> no. No beer, B and D. Gee, I'm getting drunk right now. No. B A N D. Oh, gee, he even spelled it for me. Wow. <laughs> what band do I like? Was, was it is it a rock band or is it just a a, a regular band or like what were you talking rock? No, I we could say a rock or whatever. So. All right. I mean, a rock band. I mean, there's so many. There's so many from the '80s, '90s. I mean, you know, there's there's a lot of good ones. You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't have a favorite. Again, I mean, yeah. there's a lot of good music out there, and it's tough to say, oh, I like this one, when I know I like the other music because it's the same, almost the same vibe that I get. So it's tough to do that, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I wish I could say that I have a favorite one. I mean, being a DJ was, was something I signed up for, and, you know, it was to make sure I loved all music. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of DJs do that. Some do, but yeah, I love all music. Like I like rock, country. There's certain ones that just hit me so good when I'm in the car, and and it's just it just hits me. R&B, hip hop. Like there's certain songs that I like, but there's yeah. over the top music. Like it's just it's got to be over the top. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like one day me and you could make a beat or. Make, you know, make a song. I don't know. Who knows, right? Yeah. I could do the beats by my bass. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. Why are we <laughs> listening to other people's music? We'll make our own music. You know what I mean? Let's do this. You yeah, know what let's I mean? do it. I'm down for that, Polly. Like you I said, said I do the bass. You do your DJ stuff. Um, yeah. We could do something like that. Yeah. You definitely got to get an artist in here to, to, to do the lyrics, but I'm yeah. down for that either way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I love all this. This is very creative. The work you put in, and I want to say, when when we were passing out awards, you know we talked about this in the truck. I yeah. was like, hold on, I feel there's a lot of I'm. First of all, give this man his credit, give him his flowers now while he's on this planet because he won a producer award and I'm proud of him. 
Yep. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of deep competition. I heard I was one of those competitions, but <laughs> I'm glad he won it. At least one of us did. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, I hope there's more awards that are being passed out for that same topic, but, you know, yeah. only one can win. And like I said, I learned from that. And, uh, you know, I, you just got to try a little harder and volunteer and participate more in, in things they ask you of. But, again, it, it's just – it shows you, it puts a, a real – you know, chip on your shoulder to keep going strong and, and be more creative. You got you got to turn things up then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and Paulie's been turning it up with a lot of tough competition around him. I'm proud of him. Next time, I I, I wish I'd have told him I would have bring that thing over here. Yeah. Show me that damn thing. You know what I mean? But I'm proud of him. And well, I book again. I'll bring that award to show you. Yo, throw it in my face because that's just gonna <laughs> put more chip on my shoulder. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it just shows that I need to come back and and. You know, we open my shows and, and, and you know, not not do anything what Polly's doing, but just be more creative and, and just keep going harder and, and, you know, find that, that niche that just was like right there. Yeah. Dang, you know, and Polly did it. Polly had a lot of love here. And I'm glad. I'm glad he's been here. Yeah. I'm surprised he doesn't own the place. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm doing good with this show. Yo, I'm, I'm proud to be on this show. You've had a lot of great people on here. I've watched this show so many times. I mean, it's crazy. I see, I check, I check on my thing, and I go to the AC Media, and I look at how, how many, how many people he's had on here and stuff like that. So, I'm, I get a little nosy. I'm like, okay, I see, I see him. We got, you know. <laughs> so yeah. He's had some good guests, and we, we worked together already on a couple of things. I, he invited me when the jail, when the jail group was here. Yep. <laughs> the group called Jail, but. You know, you know, with Paul and all them. Much love to Paul out there. You know, he's still out there. Yeah, you know, Paul Thompson. Paul Thompson. So, yep. yeah, man, he gave me credit. Much love to him back, you know. And my cousin, Cal. Cal, yep. Cal, shout out to Cal. I seen him in. Uh, uh, Cal, awesome. Yeah, Cal is awesome. I seen him in, on his live views and doing the guitar thing. And, you know, much love to all these rock people that, like I said, we got to show them love and keep bringing them love, keep bringing them into events or, or whatever because. They, they got to show them love. They're the ones, they're the reasons why events are opening and people with ideas and stuff like that. We got to keep going, you know? Oh, yeah. All right, wait for more questions? Yeah, hold on. Let me out. <laughs> <laughs> I got to take this off. I'm hot. Yeah. I already proved myself in here. All right. <laughs> go ahead, man. Let's go. Yeah, Celtics fan out. You know I'm a Celtics. You know, let's. we, we should talk about a little bit about that. I'm mad that they lost. But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. They have a great team, great core. Um, I just wanted them to win. The number 18 needs to go up. It's been a lot, been a while, 10 years. We waited 10 years, and then wow. we lose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we're missing one more person on that team. And hopefully Brad Stevens and, and the rest of them think about that. And, and, you know, we still got a great team. I'm just happy. I am just wish we would have got 18. But, yeah. again, let's just – Quietly move on. We, you know, I'm, I'm supported. Yep. I have my chain. I'm Mr. T chain, and <laughs> 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 I'm good, Polly. But let's go, man. Let's see what we got for questions, man. Okay. Oh, this is not a question you probably want to answer. It is, what actors have you met in person? <laughs> oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what I met in person? Yeah. Whew. Wow. <laughs> I met the girl from Coda, the lady from Coda. Um, I forgot her name. This is messed up. But like I said, I've been so busy. She was the the front leader, the 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 leader of the show of the well the film. I met her. She was very great. There was a couple people I met. Like I said, they just have a lot of different names, and it's been a while since I went back to Coda, but I couldn't believe it. Yeah. You know, she, I met some different. I met the main actress. She met. I met a lot of great people, man. Like I said, I mean. Cool. Who? I, like I said, I met um, Hubie Halloween. I met Adam Sandler. We used the same. Oh, bathroom. he's cool. He. I was signing in, right? I was yeah. signing in, because you gotta sign in when you when you're about to be part of the movie. He's walking towards me, and I'm looking at him like, 
that's 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 him. That's that dude. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's him. That's Adam. That's a dog. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A rad. You know. What I mean? <laughs> so you know, but I can't believe it. He's one of them. I've met Tim Robbins. Like I said, he's six five, tall dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, like I said, I've met so many people. Like, out there, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. crazy. Like, actresses, actors, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just met so many people. And, again, it's just, it's mind-blowing because there's so many to remember. You know, I met uh, hip-hop actresses. I met, you know, all types of people. Ashanti. I met, like, you know, just a bunch of people. And sometimes you can't carry all your names, all their names. But, again, you're trying to be someone. So yeah. it's... I'm trying to be as professional as I can to say, hey, I want people to remember my name. It's time for people to remember my name instead of me remembering everybody else's name. I'm trying to be that person for Haverhill and try to be the voice of Haverhill and try to speak up and try to be that one person from Haverhill that was like, wow, yeah, he really did his thing, you know? Yeah. Remember Dennis, he did a lot of movies and films and, you know, and I, again, I'm, I went to schools out here. I went to, like, I did a lot of things out here, you know what I'm saying? Drug interventions. You know, out in the parks, you know, I try to DJ those events to stop the violence and the drugs out here. And, oh, yeah, we don't need that. You know what I'm saying? I try to be as much positive I can, and, and I think that's where we're trying to go with all that, man. We're trying yeah. to really be, you know, positive people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So, yeah, you bring a tear to my eye. When you, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, <gotta>, no. No. <laughs> Nah, but Paulie's the man. Like I said, I want to thank you for bringing me on the show. And again, no problem. Uh, my point to be in Haver and to do all this stuff is to have us to be more remembered than me remembering other people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think we need to guide instead of being guided. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you're yep. doing the right thing by being a leader. All right. Um, do you have social medias? I should. I think I should. I think we, we, we message each other. I think I got a Facebook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a Facebook, um, Dennis Daniel. Uh, you can go to DJ Double Vision, um, D-E-E-J-A-Y, Double Vision, D-O-U-B-L-E-V-I-S-I-O-N. You can go on to that. Um, Instagram, uh, DJ Lowercase, DJ Double Vision, the number one at the end. And then, yeah, just regular DJ Double Vision and the number one. So I'll be on Instagram. I'll be on a, a lot of shows. I got an acting page that just says Dennis Daniels. Well, I got like three pages. Twitter, I barely use. I mean, until I think you're famous when you use Twitter, but yeah. I don't use <laughs> I mean, I, I have Twitter, it, but so. I don't. <laughs> but I think locally, like I said, I, I, I'm on the Haverhill pages as well. And again, I'm just trying to do good for everybody and, and try to help people forget about their past if it was bad or good or. or oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be I'll be like, hey, let's move on from that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because your energy, you know, de a dentist response is not a good response. If I got to give a dentist response, then that's not good. Yeah. We're trying to, we, we got to think smarter than that, y'all. You know? <laughs> we got to be more smarter than that. But we got to help each other. Maybe have a conversation, have a red table talk or, or whatever the case, and have a talk with Polly and squash your beefs here. And I don't know, man, but <laughs> <laughs> we all need to get along and participate and help each other out a little more, you know? Yep. All right, this is for the people. Sure. So they know how to do it and stuff. How can people book you to do DJ for their events? Say like birthdays, weddings, and more. Well, hmm. Well, I'm out in the community. I do walk around the society and, and you know, I, I either pass out business cards and, um, you know, like I said, you can go on my social medias. I just gave you guys all that spill right there. Um, you guys just hit me up, message me. Um, you know, I'm working on a DJDoubleVision.com. Um, that's being worked on right now as we speak. We're adding things. We're going to add pictures. Um, making new business cards as we speak because mine's is running out. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I said, word of mouth, too. You know, there's uh, people that know people from Haver who have done events with me. Hey, can, how can I get in touch with, you know, such and such? I've seen so many, you know, and I'm on TikTok, too. So DJ Double Vision, you know, TikTok. So uh, TikTok's been blowing up. So, again, I, I provide what the people want to see. Great pictures, um, great views, spectacular views, where you want your event to happen, you know. And I provide the greatest music and, and 
the greatest sounds. And, and again, that's why I get picked a lot. And, and you know, and I got love for all DJs and all musicians and all artists. Well, I mean, let's all book and not let the electronic world take over, not let the robots take over, you know? <laughs> yeah. We're human beings. We can actually set this up for you. So start booking. Like, I just don't want to be just booked. I want to uh, help all DJs and help every musicians, you know, to get booked, you know? Yeah. I got love for everybody, man, you know? Let's just yeah. make this, you know, if it's business, it's business, you know? That's great, you know? Yep. If we need a photographer, I, I'm that guy. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to say, like, well, I heard Polly was a good, you know what I'm saying? So that that right there, especially from people like me who are trying to do good and, and have a good space in life, put put you know, put my name or I put your name in my mouth and it comes out, people are going to look at you and like, okay, yeah. that's what you want. We, we want to connect people to people, you know what I'm saying? Yep. And, and you know, never to be shysty or cut anyone off or be bow-legged or nothing, you know what I'm saying? We always want to try to help the next person get up. That's what Havel, that's what me and you and my show, I wanted to be. Well, we next up, we help the next person up. Havel needs to be the people that, the city, I want to be the voice where I help the next man up. I help the next person up. Like, if I'm up here and I see you, I want to help pull you up, you know? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> All right, one more question. We're going to be talking about that one. Oh. All right, so, um. What do you think of my local rock talk bike display? What do I think about local rock talk on this bike? Yeah, it's a display. The display, this is the logo? Is, is that what we're talking about? Yeah, local. Local and logo. I like it. I like it. Like, this should be the bike and, and, and everything else where it should be. And, and this is crazy. I, li I like the whole design, the color. It's bright. You could be at um, 2 in the morning and I could still see you. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> it's black and I can still see you good. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we have music on there, right? Well, we, could, we could play music? Like, can I ride the bike and, and, and music is played? or? It's not rideable. Well, so. we need, oh, it's not rideable. It's, no. It's out of... Um, it's it's out of function at this time. Yeah, it's retired, so. <laughs> that's good. It's retired. That's what it is. I think that's great. I think it's a great logo and Yeah. I think it's great. I like the bugs on the on the bike. It scares me, but um yeah. No. <laughs> I think it's a great bike, man. It's a great addition to, to the show. I think it's definitely what we need to be working on and have things like this and everybody's you know, show, but you are definitely the first person I've ever seen have this. So we are oh, yeah. naming this the first time ever I've seen something like this. And the first thing ever that like, yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah. The guitars need to be, yeah, I like it. it it's got to be displayed. You yep. got to have everything there. The color's nice. Everything's cool. Yep. Thanks to my friend of mine named Rocky Moss. And the, Shout out the, to Rocky, whoever you are. I never met you in my life. The owner who cleans the rivers. That was my bike, and he fixed it up to that the one. The one that cleans the river. I think I threw a, a whole a food meal out on the street some one day. Sorry about that, if Rocky. I, I, I'll go back and clean it. No, <laughs> I would never do that, Rocky. If anything, I'm, I'll go out there one day and help you clean that out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, help you know, clean up the shorelines and stuff. Yeah, we should be more positive out there, not throw trash on the floor. Nope. I know we got people out there still dumping and... and Dumping and leaving, but, you know, you got to stop that one day. You know what I'm saying? We got to clean Haverhill up, too. You know, it's a nice city. A lot of people coming here and relying on us and, you know, thinking, you know, we helping a lot of people out there, too. A lot of you other people from different cities and states coming to Haverhill, we got your back. You know, you got to get our back, too. You know what I'm saying? We yep. helped a lot of people out there. Remember that. Yep. Rocky, I do support you, man. And thanks Thank for you, making that bike for me. Yes, the bike is real. The skeleton is real. That's somebody's actual head that, that we uh, that we got from the <laughs> so that yeah he, he's real that that's a real head so um, there's a couple of skulls on there too so yeah, he's real but uh yeah this is it man this this is what you want in life and this is what we're gonna go by man this is what it is whatever he this man wants we got to do it for for the local rock talk man yep. All right, there's going to be a bit.
video, so I'm gonna say, roll it. Hey, Paul. Hey, we're here. We're here today because Paul reached out to us about his bike, and he's he's done so many miles on that bike and gave so so much back to the community that we wanted to give back to him. So when he reached out to us, said, "Would you do something with that bike?" and I said, "Yes." And of course, the guys behind me were a big part of this, putting this build together, painting the bike, taking it apart. And uh, you want to say anything about how you reached out to me? Yeah, I left the post on uh, Facebook. I said, I said, I wish that I could have a local rock talk bike for my show. The next thing you know, I they rock and talk to me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, it's it's an amazing, it was a great project. It was a really good project. A lot of a lot of people came together, the guys came together, and uh, you know, you'll see the bike, and uh, you know, I, I don't want to talk about it until you see it, but uh, it's a really cool bike, and we get to, after we're done revealing, we can talk a little bit about that bike. Buddy, ready? You ready for your bike? Yep. All right, here it is. Whoa! There's your bike. Oh, wow. Woo! Isn't that awesome? Woo! You know, you, you wanted a rock out bike, there's your rock out bike, guitar and all, you know? Wow, I like that. The, the custom, the custom box, box is all custom on it, you know. Oh, and uh, wow. the guitar actually works. It's a real guitar and all of that. Well, anyways, that's a cool bike. I love it, and it's rock go on. How is the video of, what, of, the of the bike? The video of the bike? Yeah. What, make a video for it? No, no, no. It's, well, I already had the video so they can watch it, but I'm just asking how was the video? Oh, the video? I think it was great. You know, it's always a participant. You know, it's always a great thing. You know what I'm saying? We yep. gotta. The video is always gonna be great. You know, we gotta make sure. Make we gotta make sure everything comes out great. Yep. Because if it doesn't come out great, we gotta start all over again. We gotta find out what the reason is. But it's it, it's always great. It's always a great thing. We know that. Thanks for watching. Look over our talk. Word, word, word. Thank you for having me here, man. This is great, man. Yeah. Please. Celtics be safe during pandemic. Wash your hands. Stay away from large groups. That's important. Yo, that, I try to tell people, you know, grab the hand sanitizer. I have one in my car. You got to have one on there. I have a mask. Um, again, yep. man, just try to be safe, man. Try to make sure your health is all right. Try to head to the gym. Try to, like I said, try to take a walk. It doesn't hurt, man. It Bike just, riding. Bike riding, you know what I'm saying? A nice jog. I mean, I think it's all great. Yeah. Up next on July 12th is Sister Liz Bills. So she's next, next month. Word. Hey, Liz, man, I got to watch that show. Okay. Yep. My sister Liz coming out, doing her thing, man. Much love to her. You know, I've never met her before, but this could be a first time for everything. Always meeting new people is a great thing. Again, connecting people to people. Yep. That's what you want. All right, that's it for this episode on Local Rock Talk. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. Rock on.